I want you to just take a little moment to orient, to practice the orienting sequence a little bit, just the first part um, that, that you were taught, okay? So it's just a little moment, I'm gonna do the same. Um, just a little moment of looking around your environment, wherever you may find yourself. slowing down. You may find yourself noticing sounds as well, not just visual stimuli, even though that's our kind of primary sense of how we take in the world. See if you can just allow your environment to delight you. See if you can notice that there's a difference between allowing your environment to delight you as opposed to seeking out items that delight you. Right? It's allowing your eyes to move about the space that you're in and then just find something to settle on. Find something to be with for just a moment. It's just a moment or so. Oh, yeah, see, I, I have new chairs and there's a little detail on one of, on the chairs. It's a little scroll on the arm. And it's kind of delightful. It's nice. It's new as well. I like new. Um, but it's also, it's delightful. I like the little scroll. It's a little swirl. I like the pattern. Oh, and I can actually look really more deeply at the pattern and see how, how deeply three-dimensional it is. It's like pastry filled with something really delicious, which you can't get in Australia, something like Europeanly delicious. Yeah, so like I've got a having my carpets cleaned and so I've been putting rugs down and I have a big sheepskin rug on the floor at the moment. It's a big one, like a cop blanket size one, it's quite large. Um and it just looks so plush. Like the plushness of it. It's just yum. Plump and plush. It's great. So, you know, I can notice something kind of delicious and juicy happening inside me. And I've already mentioned that a lot of my sense kind of comes in that kind of like, it's really in the Dantian, I think it's called, or the Hara. Um, you know, that it's, uh, it's in between actually your solar plexus and your heart chakra. It's actually um, not your solar plexus chakra. That's a little bit lower, tiny bit. It's not a heap heap lower, but it's a teeny bit lower. Hara is a little bit more. Uh, so I feel it both in solar plexus and Hara, some days more in, yeah. So today I can really actually sense the solar plexus and how much I can feel of myself there. And the Hara is more how much I feel of out there. Now, I've never noticed that distinction before. I don't know if it's true always, but it's true in this moment that my hara is more receiving information from the outside and my solar plexus is receiving or transmitting or processing, might be the right word, information about the inside. So now I get curious and I wonder if I hold both of them in my awareness, what pieces of information does each hold that might get transmitted, transferred to the other that had not happened before? 
if you understand what I'm saying is that maybe I'm joining them up a little bit more by getting them to talk with each other. Well, let's say inviting them to talk to each other after having created the conditions through orienting with which they can potentially receive each other's communication.